Hello everybody, today I have an unboxing for you of the Samsung Galaxy Tab E Lite. Now, I recently picked this up at my local Walmart as a Black Friday special, and the reason that I picked this tablet up is because in my college programming classes we are starting to program for Android, and I don't really have a Android anything um, to play around with and run the applications on. Currently I'm running them through an emulator on my PC, but uh, it's recommended that we have some type of an Android, either phone or tablet, uh, to run our programs on, just to make sure they actually work on the um, end device instead of just an emulator. So I decided to do some research and pick this one up on sale for Black Friday at Walmart. I noticed that this uh, model was on sale all over the place, but I decided to pick it up there. So anyway... Let's take a look at some of the specifications here. We have a 7-inch display, 8 gigabytes of internal storage, Wi-Fi, and the color is white. I believe that's the only color that Walmart had, but I noticed other stores um, had the black versions as well. But it really doesn't matter to me. Uh, I just need something that runs Android and wasn't some off-brand thing. And I know Samsung is um, good quality. Now, as you may know, I have a lot of Apple devices but I have absolutely nothing against Android. I think there's plenty of awesome things that you can do with it. it it's just, when I uh, first got into the Apple ecosystem, it was cheaper to just stay with it than to switch to different ecosystems throughout time, so I just decided to stick with Apple. But like I said, I have absolutely nothing against Android. I think it's really neat and all the customization stuff you can do with it. So anyway, enough of little explaining about why I got this particular uh, tablet. Let's go ahead and uh, take a little bit more of a closer look at it. We already looked at the specifications. Apparently this comes with a $10 bonus. Uh, we have some information here at the bottom. You can see the model and all that fun stuff. Here we have more information. Uh, the display isn't amazing, but that's actually pretty good because that is the uh, display that we're using for our emulator currently, so that's actually really perfect for me. Um, so really basic stuff here. Not, not an amazing package at all. I'm sure maybe the uh, non-Black Friday version of this um, tablet uh, has a little bit more of an elaborate uh, box to it, maybe. I don't know. So, I already... Um, cut the tape here just to make sure that the the thing wasn't broken there's only a couple of them left when I got there later in the day on Black Friday yesterday so uh, it wasn't broken so I just pushed it back in here and here we go pull it right on out set the box aside and we are greeted with the tablet itself again with the same information that we just saw on the back so we will go ahead and pull that out just tip it out we also have information back here. One nice thing is that this does have a micro SD card slot right on the side, and we'll take a closer look at that here in a bit. I think there's a protector over that. I just don't want to scratch it all up. So we'll take a look at what is left in the box here. Open this up, and inside we have our power adapter, our uh, micro, USB charging cable, and what looks to be our manual down here as well. Nothing else in the box, really nice and plain, simple. Um, let's go ahead and take this off, just take a quick look at whatever this is, because I've never really bought anything like this before, uh, Samsung-wise. Quick start guide, just shows you where all this stuff is. Very interesting. I like the paper that they use. This is really neat. Kind of like a recycled feeling. And this big safety and warranty guide thing. So we'll go ahead and just set this all aside for right now. Um, yeah, we got our charger. Looks like a typical one that I see with many uh, other people's Samsung devices. So, set that aside as well. Okay, so on the back here, this thing's coming off, so we'll go ahead and take it off. But we have a protector, just to protect the back of the device. 
it has a it is definitely plastic but it does have a texture to it um, like they're trying to simulate leather or something to that nature it has a decent weight to it um, compared to an iPad um, of course this is heavier because it's bigger but um, it's it's uh, it's lighter it's just uh, pretty heavy for what it is which makes me think that it's pretty decent build quality which is always a good thing and of course we have our protector on the front here I did not get a screen protector for this I don't really put screen protectors on um, tablets mostly because they're usually when not being used protected inside of a, some type of a case so there we peeled that off screen doesn't look broken or nothing fantastic and I believe okay it looks like it's already came off with the other one sometimes there's plastic on these cameras I've come to notice so let's run down I believe we have our power here volume up and down headphone jack charging port our micro USB here see if we can open it up open it up and it's gonna swing this way so you don't break it off on the bottom we have a microphone it looks like on the back we have our camera and I believe that's a speaker I do believe okay so let's go ahead and power it up we'll see if it has um okay it does have some battery in it okay so let's go through a little bit of the setup process here looks like we have English of course you can change that just by clicking on it to whatever your language is um, accessibility but uh, I don't personally need any of that so here we find our Wi-Fi network we will select one of them okay and I'm just going to quickly type in the password here Okay, so after going through the setup process, we can go ahead and take a look around the uh, operating system of the device itself. So to turn on, you need to push the power button there or here. So go ahead and push the home button. Normally, you're just greeted with a swipe of the screen to unlock it. But here I have enabled a passcode. So let me go ahead and type that in here real quick. And now we are at the home screen of the device. Now, originally, uh, when you first open it up for the first time, you get a weather widget up here. And the Google is down here with some of these apps already installed. As you can see, I played around and installed a couple other apps here as well, uh, just to see what it could do. So let's go ahead and just take a quick look at a couple things here. Down here we have our applications, all where all of them are stored. Of course, we have the back button. If we swipe lightly here, we can get to a quick access apps. Over here we can get to the storage of the device itself. And if we hit this button here we can get to our app switcher. And we can go ahead and close them all or you can click on an app that you would like to switch to. Of course you have the Google Play Store so you can download your applications. Um, and of course Chrome and I installed Firefox here as well. One thing that I am curious about is let's go ahead and take a look at the settings here and take a look at the storage. I'm wondering how much is currently taken up. So I've installed a couple, uh, two emulators, uh, a vast security on here because I've never really done Android so I don't know how secure that kind of stuff is. And uh, Firefox, uh, it originally had five gigs available and it looks like it just chewed up a little bit of that. Also with a couple app updates. Uh, some things are out of date, so it'll ask you to update them. So there's that as well. So that is a look at the storage. We can also take a quick look at the camera. Notice that there's no front-facing camera, so you're not going to really have a way to do um, video chat. But we will take a quick look at the camera, so you can see that it is there. And... Um, I believe it did say there was 2 megapixels. Yeah. 
You can see little waves there. That's not from the camera. That's actually from the fluorescent light that I'm using. So um, that's not from the camera itself. It looks like we do have video capture here as well. And you get to your photos and a whole bunch of looks like other settings there as well. So there's some of the built-in applications. And a pretty nice basic tablet, especially for what I'm going to be using it for, just for programming and running little applications that I'm making. So, I really hope you enjoyed this quick look around of the Samsung Galaxy Tab E Lite. Definitely a really nice tablet for what it is and the price that I paid on Black Friday. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and also please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.